Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another Sunday Stata Tip. Today I'm going to show you how to make some graphs that show different coefficients with their standard errors on the same graph. This is really useful if you're making some choice in your specification and you're trying to answer the question, what if I change that specification just a little bit? How does that change my estimate? How does that change my standard errors? And a lot of times it's easier to see that on a graph than in a table. So let's get right into it. I've got this auto data set and my main regression is this price on miles per gallon. But in my main analysis, I did some sort of cutoff. So maybe I excluded the top 10% of prices in my data. And I want to know what happens if I make that cutoff a little less sensitive. So for example, here's my cutoff of the 95th and 99th. And I want to put all of these coefficients and their standard errors on one graph. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this temp file called coefs. Just going to be empty at first. That's where I'm going to store all my coefficients from each regression into. And what I'm going to do each time for each cutoff, I'm going to quietly send the price just so I can get those percentiles. I'm going to use that to make my cutoff. I am going to hit this regression. I'm going to store my coefficient and my standard error. I'm going to append that information to that empty data set. Then I'm going to generate the upper end of the confidence interval and the lower end of the confidence interval just like you'd expect using a 95% confidence interval. I'm going to send that to the coefficients. Then I'm going to use that temporary data set and then I'm going to graph. So all together, it's going to look like this if I run it all together. And you can see we have this nice graph here where you can see the 90th, 95th, and 99th percentile. You can see my standard errors in red and you can see my point estimate in blue. Colors are definitely up to you, but this is super helpful. And again, I could have multiple different percentiles here and I could sort of track how they change based on what percentile I use. Now, of course, these coefficients are going to be sort of weird because this regression doesn't really mean anything. But if you were doing this on your actual analysis, you could see how your main specification differs from some of these alternate specifications. It's a great way to argue that your results are robust to sort of changes in how you specify your model. So let's go back to the auto data set. So let's just go back to this auto. If I sum price, right, we have this lovely little table that we all know and love. But if I add this detail option here, What's going to happen is I'm going to get all these different percentiles. And if I say return list, then you can see I have all these percentiles to work with. And that's exactly the percentiles that I used for this for each loop for my cutoff. Because I did what's called like a double local here. I'll explain that in a different video. For each loops, I'll explain those in a different video as well. Temp files are really useful. I could have just saved this out to my windows, saved this out to my folder explorer, and then read it back in. I don't really want to do that just because it's a bunch of coefficients and I don't really need another file working around my computer. So this is how you can do a temp file and it works basically just like a local. Also like a local macro, this only works when you're running the command. So if I try to just use coefs right now, it's going to be like, what in the world? I have no idea what that is. And the reason Stata has no idea what this is, it only knows what this temp file is when this do file is running. So this all has to be run together. You can't run it in pieces. And as you get to be more sophisticated in your Stata code, you'll learn exactly what you can run together and what you can't. And I'll try to point that out as well. But if you have questions about that, definitely put that in the comments. The code for this will be in the comments as well. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, make sure to like and subscribe. See you next week for another Sunday Stata tip here on In Case of Econ Struggles.